John Bryson, any, any final thoughts as we talk about uh, courting disaster and the fight for oil, water, and a healthy planet? Well, I'm, I want to pick up on what Justice Breyer said and Tom supplemented. But you know, all these things, let, let's just take global warming. You know, it's going to cost something to deal effectively with this. Energy prices are going to have to go up. It's not all nirvana on new technologies. At least the early stages will cost a lot of money. There will be dislocations. And I've been spending a lot of time in Washington because I believe, as Tom does, that getting the rules right around how we deal with global warming is as important an issue as I've dealt with in my career in the energy field. It's just incredibly important. And it's not hugely encouraging in the short term to talk with people back there because the first response is, is almost invariably entirely tactical response. Do the Democrats want to pass anything during the Bush administration? Because the Bush administration might get some credit when they have such a pathetic record in this world. Why give them anything? Nothing, you know, I, I believe nothing will happen for a couple of years. Now, it's a tough, you know, on the side of those that want to do something, it's way oversimplified. There's a tendency to say it's going to be easy. It's not going to cost anything. We just have to salute to make it happen. None of that's true either. So Justice Breyer called for the democratic process and dialogue, and we need to intensify that. We need to have it at the kind of levels that I think we're having here tonight. And that's not much happening anywhere, in my judgment. And I do agree with Tom. What I see this in most dialogues on public issues is kind of there's this and there's that and five other things, and people don't get it, I don't think.